Welcome to the Need for Excel YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to build slicers for the Excel 2007 version. Just in case you don't know what a slicer is, a slicer is sort of a uh, filter for pivot tables. For example, this is a pivot table and this is a slicer which is linked to this pivot table. So based on my selection, the pivot table will filter itself. Now, slicers are available only in Excel 2010 and further versions. If you need more information about slicers, this is the link to follow. Alright, let's look at our actual data set. Uh, now, I've already inserted shapes over here, just to save time. These are regular shapes which you can insert from uh, the insert tab. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to write five different macros and I'm going to assign a macro to each of these uh, buttons. So these four other zones, north, south, east, west, and this button is to clear all filters. Now to start off, let's activate the auto filter. Under the data tab, go to filters. To record a macro, go on the record macro button, name the macro north, uh, and uh, hit OK. Now the macro is recording. Now go to the filters. Select only the north region. Hit OK. And stop recording the macro. Now I'm going to repeat the same step for the uh, remaining three regions. So I, I'll pause the video for now. Now that I've repeated the same steps for the remaining three regions, the last part is to record a macro to clear the filters. So for that, I'm going to start recording the macro. I'm going to name it clear filters. OK. I'm going to go to the filter, hit on the clear filter button. And I'm going to stop recording the macro. Now all five macros have been recorded. And the last step is to assign, uh, assign a macro to each of these buttons. To assign a macro, I'm going to click on the button. I'm going to right click. I'm going, to, I'm going to go to assign macros. I'm going to assign a macro. Similarly for south. East. And west. Assign the clear filter macro to this button. Now just to test it out, I'm going to hit on north, south, I'm going to try clearing the filters. Slicers give you a lot of different options, which naturally won't be available by using this method. There's one more thing which you need to keep in mind, is because we've done this by using macros, you'll have to save this workbook as a .xlsm or a .xls extension. If you don't have the Excel 2010 version, this method might come in handy. I hope my video helped. Thank you.